Hey guys, this is Alex with CritGames.com and TheWeirdChurch.com, and today I'm talking about uh, what kind of things can you say as a gamer who goes to a church or is involved in a ministry and people find out that you play uh, Magic the Gathering or Pathfinder or whatever, and they start to say, oh, can you even do that as a Christian because aren't those games witchcraft? Um, the answer that I give people is you absolutely can. Um, fantasy games are not anything that the Bible says to not do. Like, the Bible encourages imagination. I mean, if you think that the bestiary or the monster manual of D&D &D is really elaborate, you should crack open the book of Revelations, because you've got, like, beasts that are made of eyeballs with seven heads and seven horns, and one's got, like, an eagle face, and another one's got a lion, like... God is crazy when it comes to imagination, and God loves creativity because he didn't just make a dog. He made like 15,000 types of dogs, you know? And, I mean, you look at the platypus. That thing is a beaver and a duck smushed together, you know? Like, God is awesome that way, and you're supposed to be creative. Um, one of the things that I would say practically is I would say, yeah, I play D&D, or yeah, I play Pathfinder or Magic. And I said, you know, fantasy isn't bad. It's like Lord of the Rings, you know? Uh, you can't really jump on games because, one, a lot of role-playing games are amoral. You can be a priest in the game that goes around uh, attacking demons with holy light and feeding orphans and rescuing slaves, and most people don't do that. They, they have a problem with D&D and Pathfinder because they don't know what the game really is. They just There's a lot of propaganda and media hype. Um, I let a lot of people know that if, you know, people play Skyrim, and Skyrim is D&D &D and Pathfinder. Like, you are just a warrior running around killing dragons, and it's awesome. Um, the idea that people have about, well, if you played D&D, &D, hasn't that caused suicides before? No. Please research it. Google it. There was one college student one time that committed suicide who was a part of a D&D &D campaign. And that was it. He played D&D, &D and he ended up killing himself. He was a college student. He was depressed. Were they linked? I don't know. But when somebody... And I would say no, because I, I really don't believe that that's the only factor that like his game would lead him to suicide. Something that most people don't recognize is that church is kind of has a double standard on what is healthy to do. Because while they try and keep people from playing Magic and D&D &D and Pathfinder because it could lead you in a bad direction, they, they, they have a double standard because sports can lead you in a bad direction. Church loves sports. Basketball, baseball, football. But what do we see with people who are in sports? We see teamwork. We see participation. We see people doing awesome things and having an awesome time. That's what makes it awesome. We also see a downside to sports. Professional athletes, tax evasion, prostitution, drugs, alcohol, like sex scandals. We see that high school football players will go to parties and get completely drunk and do drugs and sleep with tons of girls because they are popular and involved in football. And so, is that a reason for the church to say, oh, we condemn football because it will lead a kid into sex and drugs and crimes and alcoholism and all of this other stuff? No, they go, well, that is a downside and that is the dark side, but we really just try and avoid that because you just want to avoid the game. That's where the hypocrisy is, is because it's the same way with all of these fantasy games. You can have an awesome time, and one of the benefits of playing fantasy games is there's a lot of people who read the Bible and they get excited because they read about Jesus walking on water, raising the dead, Elijah calling down fire, Moses splitting the sea, but there's no supernatural outlet. And a lot of these games, magic and other stuff, you can build decks based around angels. You can play games where you are using the power of light and love to heal people. A plague could outstretch across a farmland, starving people to death, and you show up and pray for it, and it heals. There's a lot of different angles on it, but ultimately the games are not evil. And that's what you can encourage them with, is love, information, 
let them know that you really do understand their concerns, but there's actually a lot of good that comes out of gaming, like getting together around a table and hanging out for hours and laughing and having a blast. You can have a game that is just a bunch of elves and dwarves fighting against slavers who are trying to enslave a town folk of people or whatever. You can leave spells and magic completely out of the game of D&D if you want to. I mean, that's what a lot of warriors have to deal with until they get magic items and stuff. So I would just encourage you to not be upset at people and angry and backbiting and hate them. To just understand a lot of people's difficulty comes with ignorance. And in the end, if they still have an issue, just understand that that really comes with immaturity. Um, maybe they have had a bad experience in their life with gaming, in which case you got to love them. Because Jesus says that we got to love people, and that's what we're here to do. Um, but a lot of times church will really be okay with Lord of the Rings and totally against Harry Potter, but both of the stories have wizards. In fact, Gandalf from Lord of the Rings, when he fights Balrog and goes into the depths of the earth and dies and comes back to life, a lot of people see that as a resurrection story and you can say, Lord of the Rings is cool because if you see Gandalf like Jesus, then he fought the devil and came, there's a resurrection story in there. Or you could say, yeah, but didn't they show Gandalf as a wizard? So are you saying Jesus is a wizard and that all of his healing powers were spells? And you'll see Christians go, no, that's not what about. Now, come on, blah, 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 blah. But you made a good point. Like, you have reasons to be able to tell people, don't watch Lord of the Rings. The Bible says it's not okay. But it's wrong, and that's not what the Bible is saying at all. Like, the Bible says to avoid witchcraft. So what it's telling you to do is avoid witchcraft. Don't go out and perform blood rituals and sacrifice animals and get a book on Wiccan spells and actually do those things. But Magic the Gathering is not a game that is witchcraft. It's a game that involves spells, but it's not the act of the ritual. Now, I know that this video is going to cause a lot of debate and a lot of healthy conversation. Please remember, we're loving each other. If you have questions, whatever they are, any conflicts, you think I'm just a filthy liar and I'm misleading people, put it in the comment section below. Don't cuss and swear and get angry. Just prove your point. We'll talk about it. It'll be awesome.